as of right now, we are going to decorate. The only thing I have up right now is my tree, but I actually have another tree that I need to put up and I need to get all my Christmas things out of the garage. So I did that real quick. Well, I did one. Um, I don't even know what is in here, but I do know it's Christmas. So here's all that. I did go for a more neutral look last year, but I did have a lot of red stuff too. But this year we're doing red and like more of like a vintage antique cottage Christmas. So I just started going through everything that I already have and he will forever be my favorite Christmas thrift find. Isn't he adorable? Like look at his nose. He was three dollars. He is so freaking cute. I am a little overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie, because I don't know where to start, but I feel like I need to start with the tree, but I have all these trees, even more in there. I've got these gold trees. I have these picks. I have a ton of picks. I don't know where they all are. My pretty plates, got these random trees like I remember I went off one year and just bought all these trees I've got some lights another tree like a centerpiece that I got one year that can go somewhere we've got this one this has all my ornaments I don't really want to use the neutral stuff this year I might honestly try to donate but like these would be pretty in my on my gold tree this We've got these red ones, which I like because they're bigger, so I stick them in the, towards the end of the tree. And all of these, these are so cool for my, wedded, my red and white tree. Two pillows. I have this guy, he's super cute, from an antique store forever ago. He's pretty tall, so he will go standing up somewhere. Forget about all the crap I have for Christmas. I'm just gonna throw my picks there like even this garland stuff oh these are little white houses see like i don't know if i'll even use these oh these are cute this is like the same design or texture or whatever of these i thrifted this one year two years ago for like ten dollars so random we have this little red bird i'm sure this is from target but i thrifted it got a tree skirt we've got this mary sign that i've had for like seven years now i thrifted it forever ago these are freaking cute i used these for coffee and sugar and all that last year more just ornaments y'all i'm gonna put this in my ornaments bin some picks I remember just throwing these picks in here like not really knowing like why do i i have so many picks so many picks gnomes like i was obsessed with gnomes one year so i just got gnomes but i think i got rid of a bunch of them when i was doing neutral i have these neutral garlands i'm gonna have to definitely donate a lot of this stuff i have these gold picks these are really pretty some white ones so i'll probably put these in my gold tree i have this random thing it's a vase this is really pretty to put somewhere. I thrifted this one year. It has a Christmas scene in it and it has the gold, which we love. Another one of my favorite thrift finds, these reindeers, which these are definitely not necessarily my style anymore, but they're kind of cute like for a bathroom, I feel like. This little picture, that I'll probably put like in the kitchen or something. More pics. Cute sign that says, as for me and my house. We will watch Christmas movies, bake cookies, and be very merry. So I have to keep that and put that somewhere. Some gold chargers. I've had this for so long, but I think I'm going to donate this for sure. It says joy to the world. So the reason why I've always been so bad at filming Decorate With Me is because I get ahead of myself. So I started putting these in the tree, and that's all I have so far. Um, and these were $16.99 for two. Cause they were half off so i have this merry christmas sign that i just bought and i think i just want it like right smack in the middle of the tree like when you see the tree that's what you see it's super cute it's not really straight but i feel like it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect and i just added those picks right here i guess i only got three i thought i got a fourth one and now i'm gonna fill in with these and i have a million of these because i had some from last year and then i picked up more they're only a dollar a piece at hobby lobby 
so they're really nice. I just need to take this little tag off. So this is what I came up with. I feel like I know I could add a lot more if I wanted to, but I actually love everything. I put this little guy this way. So when you walk into the house, you can see him. And then for the top, I just put some pics from Hobby Lobby. We're still dealing with all of this. It's so stressful. There it is. I also tried doing this on the tree and I did not love that. So we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen and I'll probably return those. I'm just, I'm not feeling the ribbon. I'm never been good at stringing ribbon, but this is the beautiful tablecloth that I got from Hobby Lobby, $25.99, but half off, so $13. We're gonna see if it fits. Okay, so here it is. I mean, obviously the dining room isn't decorated yet, but I'm going to kind of see what it looks like with more stuff going on, you know? I do love it. We'll see. I'm kind of obsessed. These will look really pretty staying here, but they, I feel like they would also look really pretty on the mantle. But I love them. Look how cute they are. I wish they were actually vintage, but I'll take it. I'll take the look. Look how cute. I am in love. Okay, I also thought of putting this little board that I have down, but then they're not as spread out, which I don't necessarily love. Like, I think it looks kind of silly like this, so I like to put ornaments in whatever I have on my coffee table. I'm going to do these, and then I have some other vintage ornaments that I put. Okay, so I think I've decided on these little trees. I'm going to fill it with these ornaments that I just thrifted, and then like I said, I have a ton more in my box. I think I'm gonna do all except the blue ones because I don't know. The blue is kind of not necessarily my style. So I knew I had super wrapped my ornaments. Yeah, I got a bunch of them like this was 244 that's such a random this lighting is really bad but um the ones i'm gonna put in the tray that i just like vintage old ornaments that I thrifted, and they're so pretty just love the view of this let me show y'all like this view makes me so happy so these are all just gonna go in here i'm gonna take this off but yeah they're just gonna go in here like that Okay, like this just looks like a, a ball pit like that you can jump in. Like, I need something. I don't know. I didn't love the tree there. Maybe I just keep how it was. I don't want them to fall and break. I could even put some on here. I don't know. I'm just kind of messing around with it. No, that looks stupid. I know the lights are off, so you guys will see it better probably tomorrow, but this is just what I have right now. I put that tree there. I'm going to get twinkle lights so I can wrap it around this garland. I feel like that would make it a lot more magical. Okay, it's a lot later. I love the view from the kitchen. I put this garland here. I put this guy in this old crock that I got, but it keeps falling. I need to put something more stable so it kind of stays centered like that. Here I just have the tree and whatever. I put the joy sign there, I don't mind that. Obviously once these pillows are all situated and stuff, it'll look better. I have all my gold ornaments still just waiting for the other tree. I did not mean to throw that like that. There's nothing really red over here and I feel like there needs to be something. I put these little guys, I'm gonna put my other tree right here. 
right here i just changed it to where i only have like white little pictures there and then i love these glasses so i kept those out and then a bunch of old bowls and then i just filled it with a bunch of old books on the bottom shelf and i really like the way it looks and then i just put these here love it so that's everything i think once i have my other tree and i decorate it then i can officially start putting everything else in the garage because i'll know that i'm not using it right now i'm going to add fake snow on top and do my little christmas village oh and i added this merry christmas line right to the entryway so when you come in you see that okay here's my little cottage right now this is what it looks like super cute and then just the merry christmas so from afar that's what it looks like i don't necessarily love the big gap here but that's just what we're gonna do for now i also wanted to show you guys what i did to the dining table because i did feel like it was really busy oh, i forgot that i had this white piece that i sometimes just use all year my mom got it for me for my birthday last year and I just put it on top and I think that it like tones down the red and kind of makes the trees pop more. All right, we've got the other tree. Chai's like, what is happening? The dogs have no idea what's going on. And this is my flocked tree that I got last year and it's gonna go in this corner right here. I just decided I might as well do it tonight. Here she is, six and a half foot, pre-lit. And here we go. I feel like it's so easy to set up a tree. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's really easy. The only plug I have is right there, so we'll have to figure that out. And I need to move all this crap out of the way. Okay, so we just got it situated. It took a second. So that one was C, so this one's B. So I'm assuming this is gonna go next, but it's too heavy for one hand. Okay, here she is, without being fluffed. And I'm gonna fluff her. So pretty. I love it. I'm getting pretty tired, but I'm like very determined to get this tree decorated so that in the morning I can like really clean the whole space that I've been working with since like four and now it's 11.20 p.m. I just FaceTimed my mom and my sister and we were just talking and catching up. So anyways, this is my gold tree that i'm just gonna put my vintage gold ornaments and any other gold pieces that i think would look really pretty um i have a few gold picks but not that many so i think the picks i might use as the topper so in my last video i showed that i thrifted these and it was a big pack and i didn't even see them till i got in the car they remind me of like a french something i don't know but i just think that they're gonna look really pretty start placing them Okay, now for my favorite, just putting the beautiful little antique or vintage, I don't even know, ornaments all over this. And like I said, I've been collecting these for a couple years now, so it's just fun now to just fully decorate the tree. I had a vision for it, and I just feel like it comes to life. Okay, y'all, here is my gold tree, old gold ornaments. And then I did incorporate some pieces that are not old like this is cracker barrel one dollar but i like someone painted this like i wanted some pieces that i still really liked and felt special towards like i thrifted this but i remember this is one of the first ornaments that i thrifted and then you know i just wanted to incorporate a lot of pieces into this that just made me feel some type of way so i love these ornaments so much I also put her in here because she's just so extra. We love her. So now, when you look, I really have to um, clean up tomorrow. Like, tomorrow, all of this is going to be cleared. But right now, this is what we have. I even have a skirt somewhere. I saw it. I don't remember where it is. So I need to put the skirt around her, around her, around the tree. And... That's it for today. Hey guys, good morning. It is day two and I honestly forgot to like just throw on my camera and record. So we are here. <laughs> I have my trees lit up. 
this was full so now I just started this is the only Christmas that I'm not using so right now as you can see I just have things all over the floor that's the skirt that needs to go there so I'm gonna sweep and vacuum real quick and I think that one needs to go out but I'm wearing these Christmas pajamas so I probably need to change but yeah look how cozy it looks I want to get something for here like the back like maybe some string lights i want to get twinkle lights for there and then i mentioned i want twinkle lights for that garland over there okay y'all i just swept i put the uh, tree skirt down super cute i'm drinking this merry christmas mug um i have a couple more things i need to do today come here baby and oh my goodness what's on your head i look crazy but that's okay good morning we just decorated like i spent Probably like seven hours total decorating. And I feel like I'm pretty good on everything. I have a few things I need to do. Um, drinking my coffee out of my Mickey mug. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do today to be pretty much done with Christmas decorating. Also, my husband's making us omelets. Oh my God, I feel that Serrano pepper in my soul a football on obviously this is a print it's gorgeous but i'm thinking of putting a christmas print in it just to add you know something i'm probably gonna change this out because i don't necessarily love it <clears throat> yum hi girls good morning hi what are you doing what are you doing? The omelet didn't work out, but this is delicious. So good. I really didn't do much because I had to order the pictures and then I did a grocery pickup order, but I barely got around to getting it. Let me show you guys some of the things that I got. Um, my husband's bringing in some of the last things. So I don't know if this is like new this year, but Target has a pack of these for $10 and they have like a million different colors, but I got the blues. They're so fun, but I did get these. Oh, it says blue. Oh, they're blue. I don't know if I love that. I might have to. Well, they were $2.24. Anyways, got those. Got some tissue. I got these because on TikTok I saw someone use these curtain lights behind their TV. So I'm going to see if I like that. I got two of the natural string lights from Walmart. I also got these. These are so pretty. I'm gonna put them in my little village with one of the string lights and I'll show you. I also got these lights so I could put them on the tree out front. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like right now. So here's what it looks like with the string lights. It's so pretty. They just make everything more magical. I put the fake candles on and it just looks so magical show you the entryway i'm going to show it to you guys with lights and without lights so i put all those little trees up it looks so much better with the trees so cute and then the string lights and then without lights which is pretty dark right now just because it's obviously nighttime it's still really cute so i like these string lights because there's a timer on them i mean i just had to add these lights they're so cozy hey guys so it's been such a long day at work i'm tired but i went and picked up my little prints for the gold frames i actually forgot about them yesterday so i got them today this is what i came home to this this garland being chewed up i feel like they tore this part i can still use this for something so that's what they did they got bored, tore it apart, rode. Okay, I also wore this shirt for the first time. I thrifted it, but it's super cute. It's supposed to be oversized. This was a small, like it's pretty oversized. It's by the UMGEE brand. So this one I just got because look how cute it's little Rudolph. So adorable. I hope I ordered the right sizes, but super cute. I ordered this one and it's Santa. He's just doing his thing on Christmas night and it's very moody and dark and that's going to go in this one over here. Okay. Good news. I ordered the right size. So it's pretty subtle, but I really, really love it because you can still tell 
that it is Christmassy, but it still has that like moody vibe to it. Let me just move it a little bit this way. Okay, let's go add Rudolph to that frame over there. Pop. I love my roses, but we've gotta we've gotta add Rudolph to this one. Y'all, look how cute little Rudolph is. He's so cute in here. Okay, this is with the lights on. Don't mind the mess. Let's turn the lights off. How cozy. With little Rudolph, he's so cute. I love him. I'm gonna do a final Christmas home tour in the next video. So thank y'all so, so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Say bye, Chai.